Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ. These are your new and updated mods for Monday, August 28th. In total, we got 14 mods today. All platforms got four new and eight updates. And PC and Mac players got one new and one update. We're going to look at all the new mods plus their customizations, and we will review every mod that got an update. Timestamps are linked below. Let's do it. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms, we have the Service Vehicles Pack from Farm Mods TV. Actually, I have an update from him later today as well. This has two vehicles so we have the escort vehicle and the sign vehicle let's start with the first one 200 horsepower manual transmission 120 liters of fuel 74 miles an hour and it weighs 1.8 tons if that matters to you will brands we have continental lizard and that is it and then we have a couple different rim options warning type we have the warning sign which can be read from the front or the back and then we also have a beacon bar or you could do both of them or neither rear sign we have of course yes and no and then we have rear strobes that we could throw on there main color options all of the above and rim colors again all of the above so let's reset this stuff and let's get ourselves one of those then we have the sign vehicle this is exactly the same with the exception that there's well a sign there uh, that sign cannot be taken off so heads up there and of course we have strobes and a beacon bar so we'll get ourselves one of those as well and then figure out what's going on with it. let's turn on our help window and see what we've got so we have unfold vehicle which is just going to do that turn on left sign that's kind of cool turn off sign turn on left sign turn off sign all right, change sign direction. Ooh, hey, hey. And then we've got our beacons, which do flash. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. We can't change the sign direction unless we, huh, closed. Yeah, you can't change the sign direction unless it is off. So I guess there's that. So we have left, right, and closed. That's going to get confusing after a while. And then we have our warning sign here. We've got unfold the car, which lowers that down. We'll go and turn it on and see what we can do. Can we freely rotate this? Yes, we can. So that's kind of cool. And then, of course, we have our beacons as well. It even flashes the ones on top of the warning. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Next is the Lizard WS-130G. This is a little trailer, and we also have a PC-only version of this that we should talk about here in a little bit. 5.6 thousand liter capacity, 2.5 tons. Actually, weighs more than that truck does. Uh, we've got a couple different options through here. Of course, we have our bell trailer. We have bell trailer with sides on it. Standards 5.6, and we have 14 and 18.4. Looks like that uh, 14 and 18.4 give us a little something extra, so we'll go with those. We'll we have the trailer bog and the Vratistan. Ooh, those look good. And BKT as well. I'm going to leave that on there. Cover, we have yes and no. And then we could change the color of that cover. We've got a couple different options through there. However, that is it. And then doesn't look like we have a trailer hitch on there either. Next, we got the Bunker Silo Classic Pack. There are six different bunker silos in here. We'll go ahead and pop in, take a look. You kind of see we have small, medium, and large of the two and single variant. So jump in, go to silos, and you'll find them right here. The thing is, it kind of goes mid, big, and then small. So just quick, uh, quick heads up through there. Also, I do want to check and see if these click together. So we'll put down one, and the answer is no. However, if you'd have free mode or free build mode turned on, you could put a couple of these beside each other like that kind of tweaks a little bit but that is normal but there is a double version as well uh yeah oh, the bunker silos and your last new one for all platforms today is going to be the wind turbine this wind turbine adapts to the wind direction and speed they say um it is absolutely massive i'm pretty sure it's like the ones in the background uh yeah that's that's in the center of my testing area by the way uh let's let's just go all the way down to the ground so you guys can get the true scale of that. It's large. Uh, also, uh, income per hour, they say $5,000. It costs $1.5 million. Uh, almost doesn't seem right. By the way, uh, you can't zoom out enough to do this. I think there's a mod on PC where you can't, but not here. We'll jump into productions. We'll go down here. Well, it says $120,000 a month. Uh, so I don't... Is $5 an hour? That. I don't know, something's not adding up there. Anyway, uh, nonetheless, there you go. Uh, you got the... <laughs> That's so massive. Yeah, I did a little math. 
Turns out I'm just an idiot. All right, let's move on. Making our way over to updates for all platforms. First one is New Lands version 202. Lower level crossing and collision free track. Hot air balloon sound changed. Added water sound for the lake. Added crowd sounds for the market. Added voice to the market character and removed a flying tree. We've also got an update to the Pinnacle 6x4 tanker. This is version 3.2. Traffic collision fix. Six new fill units been added, including silage additive, canola oil, Oil, sunflower oil, olive oil, grape juice, and methane, and they've also added a French translation. One mod that hasn't really been out for a while, the Jandager 10,000 has got it updated to 1001. They fixed the accessories. And an update to the Agrimas Falcon 3 Plus Pack version 2.1. The invisible part has been improved. Speaking of improvements, the shovel from Ada Monty and the ABP team was updated to 1.4. We got some new color configurations. And an update to the stables with larger pastures. This is version 1.2. All pastures pastures and stables now have a visible area that shows how big the pasture is at the stable. Also, the visible areas can be removed at each stable or pasture. For this, there is a spanner symbol at each stable and pasture. Feed storage of the stables and pastures slightly adapted for players with Maze Plus. That's pretty cool. It changed the large cow shed with feeding robot. The amount of robot spreads with their amount that the robot spreads rather with each round has been increased so that all 105 cows also Get their feed. Next to last update for all platforms is the greenhouse version 1.1. Decrease the price of the greenhouse, adjusted the ratio of required products, and changed the brand to Lizard. And lastly, a mod that is released for the third time is version 1.0, the Lone Care Trailer. Uh, I don't... I don't know, it's it's back. That's all I got for you. <laughs> Jumping over to two PC and Mac mods. We got one new N1 update. Starting with the new one, we have the Weckman WS-130G. If you watch the console version mods, well, this probably looks very similar to you guys. Uh, it's exactly the same uh, in every single way. There you go. So we don't need to go over it again. And your last mod today is going to be an update to the Empty Pallets production version 1.0.4. Increased needed revamp version. Smaller bug fixes. Added special version for maps from LSMT. Added trigger for loading virtual pallets. Well, guys, that's it. That is it for today's new and updated mods. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it if you did and get subscribed if you're new. Check out the videos from Core Farmers we released over the weekend. And if you have any questions about the mods today, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you guys are going back to school this week. I know these schools in my area are going back today and tomorrow. So, hey, when are you going back? Or are you working? Hey, let me know. Me too. <laughs> Otherwise, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later.